Hi, welcome to the RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now, we are going to discuss about uh, crystal field stabilization energy. Crystal field stabilization energy. So, that is nothing but uh, whenever a ligand approaches to the central metal atom. So, three metal atom having the d orbital, phi d orbital, those are degenerate orbital. Those are degenerate orbital. So, whenever a ligand uh, approaches to the central metal atom, then it is split into two sets. One is T2G, another one is EG, in case of octahedral complexes, in case of uh, octahedral complexes. Now here, let, let us take the one example about uh, titanium H2O6 times plus 3 complex. Here, titanium plus 3 means D1 configuration. Here, it having only one electron. So, that means one electron entering into the T2G set, that means lower energy level. Then, it is excited sometimes, so maybe T2G2 easy. So now here T2G orbital having the minus 0.4 delta O. So according to our calculation in our previous classes it is minus 0.4 delta O. It is related to the plus 0.6 delta O. Plus 0.6 delta O. So now one electron which carries the 0.4 delta O 0.4 delta O. So the quantity of this 0.4 delta O splitting energy is nothing but a CFSC is nothing but a CFSC. Whenever it having the 0.4 CFSC in case of D1 orbital, so it may be possible to excite the ground state electron to the higher energy level. So lower state energy, uh, uh, lower state electron to the higher energy level, then it causes to the electronic excitation. So here maybe T2Z0 is the one, but in case here T2Z1 is the Zero. Now, this is the electronic transition from ground state to first excited state, ground state to first excited state. Now, it releases, whenever it uh, uh, electronic excitation takes place, it releases some energy. So, that is, uh, that is observed in UV visible spectrum, UV visible spectra. So, this UV visible spectra will give rise to the color of the complex, color of the complex this energy absorbed in uv visible range so that uv visible range gives the uh, uh, unique color of the complex compounds a color of the complex compound not the unique so uh, let us assume that so the color of the complexes due to d to d transition due to d to d that means uh, every electron should be there in d orbitals only should be there in d orbitals only now let us conclude DD electronic transition will give rise to the color of the complexes. Color of the complexes. Now this color, it requires some energy. That is nothing but uh, our energy. The quantity of energy which is released in, when splitting, that is called uh, crystal field stabilization energy. Crystal field stabilization energy. Let us take the several example. Now, in case of D1 complexes, we have the phi orbitals in degenerate state. Whenever it undergoes the splitting, then it gives only one electron. That means one electron present over there. Now, T2G1 is 0. This is the electronic configuration of D1 configuration. So, we know the CFSC values. That means 0 0.4 into delta O. 0 0.4 into T2G electrons, N T2G, plus 0 0.6 into N EG, delta O, plus M P, N P, that means pairing energy, N P, now I will write here, N P, that means N P means number of pairing electrons, which is occurs forcefully, which is occurs forcefully, P E means pairing energy. Now, up to, the pairing energy observed in D5, D6, D7 cases, regularly D6, D7, sometimes it may be possible, I think here D4 to D6, D7. So, these cases only we observed the pairing energy, remaining all the cases are neglected, remaining all the cases neglected. Now, here T2G1 is a 0, so here only one electron present in the T2G set, then CFSC value like this. So, minus 0 0.4 into 1 electron plus Ez into 0 into delta O, that is neglected. Now here that means 
डेल्टा वो सो दिस नेगेटिव साइन नॉट दी वैल्यू सो दिस नेगेटिव साइन विच इंडिकेट्स आर विच इज बिलो दी बैरी सेंटर विच इज बिलो दी बैरी सेंटर सो द पॉजिटिव साइन मींस विच इज अबव दी बैरी सेंटर नाउ लेट अस टेक दी डी टू डी टू डी टू मींस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट मींस टी टू जी टू ई जी जीरो Whether the whether it is a strong field or a weak field, the two, two second electron also comes in T two G orbital. So according to the Huns Huns rule, now here T two G easy means CFSC values like this: two into minus zero point four plus zero into zero point six, and then delta O. That means minus zero point eight delta O. Minus zero point eight delta O. So another thing is delta O is measured in. 10 dq also delta o is also measured in 10 dq so it may be right minus 8 dq also or it may be minus 8 dq whenever d3 configuration that means uh, 3 electrons so 3 into minus 04 that means minus 1.2 delta o or minus 12 dq minus 12 dq but uh, d4 cases it gives rise to Different variations. So, in case of uh, D four, it's pleated into different types of colors. It 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 gives the different types of colors, even the uh, if, uh, even different sets. Like, uh, let us take the D four. Whenever it having the weak field ligand, weak field ligand. So now let us assume it is a strong field ligand. Strong field ligand. So now we have the four electrons. That means uh, one, two, three. According to Huns four, uh, it is half filled. Then it may be possible for the pairing energy. But here, the splitting energy is very lesser. The splitting energy is very lesser. That's why the fourth electron can easily jump occupied at a easy level. Easily occupied at a, sorry, easily occupied at a easy level. But in case of strong field ligands. In case of strong field ligands, now the fourth electron cannot enters into the easy level. The fourth electron cannot enters into easy level. That means it forcefully paired up in easy level, T two G level. Forcefully paired up in T two G level. So due to its large gap between the T two G and easy set, large gap between the T two G and the easy set. Now the fourth electron can paired up start plus at T two G level only. One of the T two G orbital. One of the T two G orbital. Now we used some forceful energy to pair the electron. That is nothing but pairing energy. Pairing energy. So uh, the cause of uh, electron pairing it requires some extra energy that is called the pairing energy that is called uh, pairing energy. Now we observed uh, I think uh, I, I did a mistake uh, over there D four D five D six D seven these these shown the uh, pairing energy remaining all are neglected remaining all are neglected. Now we construct the a table. Now we construct a small table regarding to the CFSC values. Uh, before going to the table, let us discuss another form, another problem because uh, regarding to the T6 case. Whenever here here D4 configuration, only one pairing of uh, forceful pairing takes place. That's why it is pairing energy is one. NP the number of pairing electrons is only one. Now here in case of a D6 at a higher energy level. So, but the uh, in case of strong field, like this, we have the six electron. That means two, three, four, five, six. There is no extra energy to pair up the electrons. Uh, here it is automatically paired up. So there is no pairing energy. No pairing energy in case of octa field. In case of high spin complexes, sorry, simply weak field ligands, weak field ligands or high spin complexes, or high spin complexes. Now we have the six electrons in in case of strong field ligands. One, two, three. 
So this is a of field configuration of T2G4. So now here the gap is more and more. That's why the electron cannot jump up to the higher energy level. That's why the fourth electron can easily forcefully paired here. Now we require a one pairing energy. Again, second electron also paired, but third electron cannot be. So one, two, three, four, five, sixth electron automatically placed at the T2G level. Sixth electron automatically placed at the T2G level. That's why sixth electron cannot be they cannot require the pairing energy. Sixth electron cannot require the pairing energy. Now here pairing energy is n is equal to two. Pairing energy electrons number of pairing energy electrons are two not the three so here three electrons are paired up that's why it is 3p it's wrong okay so now how much energy required how much extra energy required to forcefully pair up the electrons or to forcefully pair up the electrons in case of d6 here the pairing energy is only two pairing energy is only two in case of uh, let us discuss the a table which is regarding to the crystal field stabilization energy of the low spin and high spin complexes of octahedral complexes the crystal field stabilization energy of high spin and the low spin octahedral complexes. Now let us start with the D1 configuration. D1 configuration. Right side the low spin configuration, left side high spin configuration. Now D1 means here these three are the T2G set, these two are the EG set. Now we have the only one electron, that electron paired here. Now the electronic configuration T2G1 is 0. T2G1 is 0. Now here it is a number of unpaid electrons, number of unpaid electrons, here only one. So, now let us discuss the CFSC value. Now let us calculate the CFSC value. Only one electron which is present in the D orbital, T2G orbital. T2G orbital can contribute the minus 0 0.4 uh, uh, delta O value, minus 0 0.4 delta O. Now we will get a minus 0 0.4 delta O. But in case of del DQs, it is minus 4 DQ, minus 4 DQ. Now, D2 means here two, two electrons which are also present in the T2G set then electronic configuration T2G2 is 0 T2G2 is 0 the number of electrons unpaid electrons are 2 the value is minus 0 0.8 delta O minus 0 0.8 delta O now in case D3 here are three electrons are paired here only there is no electron in EG set then electronic configuration T2G3 is 0, number of unpaid electrons are 3, minus 1.2 delta O, 1.2 delta O. Now let us take the fourth example, D4 configuration. Now here the uh, spin, that means uh, the splitting energy gap is very lesser in case of uh, high spin or uh, weak field complexes, high spin or weak field complexes. That's why here fourth electron can easily jump to the easy level, can easily jump to the easy level. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the configuration is T2G3 is 1, T2G3 is 1. Now here unpaired electrons are 4, unpaid electrons are 4. Then here the calculation, the CFSE is equal to minus 0 0.4 into 3 plus 1 into 0 0.6. That means minus 1.2 plus 0 0.6. That leads to the minus 0 0.6, minus 0 0.6. Now here the delta S, CFSC value is minus 0 0.6 delta O. So now in case of D5 complexes, D5 complexes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means electronic configuration is the T2G3 EG2. T2G3 EG2. So now here the, all are the unpaired electrons, then number of unpaired electrons are 5. So then it is a system. So 3, 4 is 12, 2, 6 is 12, minus and plus it becomes a 0. It becomes a 0. CFSC value is 0. So now it is doubly degenerated due to that D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now here is in case of a, a, a weak field gains, so the sixth electron can pay it up. Sixth electron can pay it up, but without any extra energy. This is automatically pair up takes place, automatically pair up. Now, here the configuration is a T2G4 and EZ2. That means 4, 4 are 16, 2, 6 are 12, 16 minus 12, that means uh, 4. So now here, the number of unpaid electrons are 4. Now, let us calculate the formula. 4 plus 2 into 0 0.6, that means uh, minus 1.2 plus 0 0.6, minus 1.2. Plus 
not really it should be minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 delta o now in case of d7 complexes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means that t2g5 eg2 so here the number of unpaired electrons are 3 the number of unpaired electrons are 3 then the value of uh, cfsa so 5 4 are 20 2 6 are 12 that means approximately minus 0 0.8 not approximately it is minus 0 0.8 only now in case of d8 configuration 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means uh, T2G6 is uh, 0. T2G6, sorry, is 2. Now the number of unpaired electrons are 2, then the value minus 1.2 delta O. So just calculate it. Now the D9 configuration, that means uh, here 6 4 j 12, 2 6 j 12, 12 minus 12, uh, so 20, 6 4 j 24, 2 6 j 12, 24 minus 12, that means uh, 12. So which is converted into delta O minus 1.2. Now D, D9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means that T2G6, EG3, then the number of unpaired electrons only 1, then the value is minus 0 0.6 delta O. Then the value is minus 0 0.6 delta O. In case of D10, all the electrons can pay it easily. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Now here the configuration is T2G6 EG4. Here the, there is no unpaid electron. Then crystal field uh, splitting energy value. Sorry, the crystal field stabilization energy value is equal to zero. Now let us take the strong field complexes as the example. Strong field complexes. In case of strong field ligands. In both the cases, D1 to D3, D2, D3 configurations are same. But let us discuss D1 configuration in strong field ligands. In strong field ligands. So generally, one only one electron. That means uh, that electron present over the T2G. Then electronic configuration T2G1 is zero. So that the number of unpaired electrons are only one. CFSC value minus 0 0.4 delta O. 0 0.4 delta O. I think it is visible. Not a problem. So now the second one. I will adjust it here, left side. Uh, now, the T2G, D2 means T2G2 only. T2G2, then is 0. Sorry, I did a mistake. Is 0. Then the number of unpaired electrons are 2, minus 0 0.8 delta O. Minus 0 0.8 delta O. Now, the third one is 1, 2, 3. Then it is a T2G3 is a 0, 3. Minus 1.2 delta O and minus 1.2 delta O. Up to D3, the both the cases, uh, whether it is a strong field or weak field, both the cases are same. But uh, onwards D4, it, it should be changed. It should be changed. Now, in case of a D4 configuration, 1, 2, 3, the fourth electron cannot uh, enter into the EG orbital. Now, its fourth electron onwards, it can pay it up. It can pay it up. Now, we use uh, some additional extra pairing energy additional extra energy that is called pairing energy now the configuration is t2g4 is 0 the now number of unpaired electrons are 2 so the value is minus 1.6 delta o minus 1.6 delta o minus 1.6 delta o plus 1 pairing energy the p means how much energy we added so now this is p pairing energy now here how many pairs of the electrons are there now here np here only one pairing energy only one paired up takes place now so D4 value is minus 1.6 delta O into uh, delta O plus one pairing energy plus uh, one pairing energy. Now let us take the D5 configuration. One, two, three. Fourth electron cannot enter into the EG orbital. That's why fourth electron one pairing energy. Fifth electron also cannot entering into the EG orbital. Now fifth electron also paired up. It is also extra energy. It requires also extra energy. Then T2G5 is zero. The number of unpaired electrons 1, the value is minus 2.0 delta O plus 2 pairing energy, plus 2 pairing energy. Now, however, in case of D6 configuration, 1, 2, 3, fourth electron, if, if, if fourth electron can enter into the EG orbital, then configuration T2G3, EG4. Now, we observed in the uh, D6 weak field ligands. But the fourth electron, it requires some extra energy. Now, fifth electron also requires the some extra energy. But sixth electron automatically entering into the T2G orbital. Let us take a 
very clearly. So now, in case of weak field ions, first, second, third, fourth electron can entering into the EG orbital, fifth electron can entering into the EG orbital, sixth electron automatically entering into the T2G orbital. That's why sixth electron can cannot require so much more energy. So now here, let us let us take only two pairing energy it requires. Two pairing energy only required. But sixth electron can also present in T2G orbitals. Now the configuration is T2G6 is a zero, the number of unpaired electrons are zero. So the number of unpaired electrons are zero. Now the value of CFSE is minus 2.4 delta O, minus 2.4 delta O. Now let us take the seventh example. One, two, three, fourth electron cannot enter into the easy orbital, it requires some additional energy, one pairing energy. Now, so in case of a seventh electron, two, Three, six. Now here one. Seventh electron can entering into the easy set. Then here T2G6 easy one. The value of a number of unpaired electrons is one. So the now value is minus 1.8 delta O. Here only one pairing energy. Here only one pairing energy. So the remaining two are same. The remaining two are same. Now let us take the B8 configuration. B8 configuration. That is one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, so the configuration T2G6 is 0, sorry, is 2, the number of unpaired electrons are 2, the value is minus 1.2 delta O. Now D9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that means T2G6 is 3, the number of unpaired electrons 1, the value is 0 0.6 delta O. Now the final one is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means T2G6 is a 4. Number of unpaired electrons are 0. CFSE value also 0. So this is uh, this is the uh, weak field and strong field gained CFSE value. Crystal field stabilization energy value. Now, now with the help of this table, we can easily uh, easily remembering the CFSE value of the different systems. Now uh, here the only one exception is there that is a pairing energy which is observed in strong field gains. That means a low spin. Strong field is nothing but low spin, low spin value. Here the magnetic momentum values is are high. Here the magnetic moments are how low. That's why it is low spin complexes. These are the high spin complexes. Weak field are high spin complexes high spin complexes now here these these four are the these four having the pairing energy that means uh, d4 one pairing energy d5 two pairing energy d6 two pairing energy d7 two pairing energy but uh, let us let us uh, see the table several common things are there both the weak field and strong field ligands d12 d3 everything is same d12 d3 everything is same but d8 to d10 also same so their CFSE values, their number of unpaid electrons, electronic configuration, everything is same. But exceptionally, D4 to D7 can be changed. D4 to D7 can be changed. But some of the advantageable books, they are rarely shown that. So here, T2G2, D2 configuration, it is not 0 0.8 delta O, it is only minus 0 0.6 delta O. So now again here D7 configuration it is also minus 0 0.6 delta O. D2 and D7 here D2 and D7 these two shown instead of 0 0.8 delta O it shown only 0 point, minus 0 0.6 delta O due to its inter electronic repulsions due to its inter electronic repulsion note this point clearly note this point carefully now uh, this these are the two exceptions one is inter electronic repulsion another one is uh, pairing energy another one is pairing energy now here strong field cases also here minus 0 0.6 only this is also an inter electronic repulsion inter electronic repulsion now let us go with the uh, tetrahedral complexes crystal field stabilization energy Okay. 
tetrahedral complexes and CFSC value. Tetrahedral complexes, CFSC value. Now, the CFSC of a tetrahedral crystal field stabilization energy. Now, it is the E set, it is the T2 set. Zerate uh, here uh, not useful. Why? Because the tetrahedral complexes not having the inversion center. Now, CFSC value means so minus 0 0.6 into uh, e, e set plus 0 0.4 into T2 set into delta T into delta T plus pairing energy delta T plus pairing energy. So now we know that uh, the relation between delta T and delta O is 4.9 into delta O. So uh, all uh, all the examples uh, can calculate it either one one manner that is easier to us. So here delta O. So delta T is equal to four by nine into delta O. That means uh, zero point four five into delta O. Zero point four five into delta O. Let us substitute this value in this above equation. Now minus zero point six into E electrons plus zero point four into T two electrons into zero point four five into delta O plus pairing energy. So here it is a tetrahedral complexes causes by the weak field gain causes by the weak field gain. So there is no extra energy requirement to pair up the electrons. That's why pairing energy negligible in case of a tetrahedral complexes. Let us multiply with 0 0.45 into 0 0.6. Now we will get minus 0 0.27 into E electrons number of E electrons plus 0 0.18 into T2 electrons into delta O. So this is the delta O value. This is the delta O value. Here pairing energy negligible in case of high spin complexes. In case of high spin complexes. Now let us consider let us construct a table regarding to the crystal field stabilization energy of tetrahedral complexes. Now D1 configuration. So electronic configuration like this. Here two, here three. So it is a tetrahedral. Only one electron, that means a E1 configuration, T2, 0 configuration. E1 configuration, T2, 0 configuration. Here then, sorry. So here the number of unpaid electrons only one. Number of unpaid electrons only one. So we have the formula minus 0 0.27 into E plus 0 0.18 into T2, then into delta O. So we have only one electron. Here 0, 0 into anything 0. Now minus 0 0.27 into 1 into delta O. That is equal to the minus two point minus zero point two seven delta O minus zero point two seven delta O. Now here CFSC value is minus zero point two seven delta O. Now it is a D two configuration. One, two, one, two. Now the configuration is E two under T two zero. E two under T two zero. Number of unpaid electrons are two minus zero point five four. 27 to 54. Let, uh, let us assume simply. Now D3 configuration. So here tetrahedral complexes causes by the weak field ligands. Uh, sometimes in case of uh, carbonyl compounds or D10 configurations, it is uh, caused by the strong field ligands. Uh, otherwise, it is weak field ligands. That's why the third electron you can easily paired up. Uh, uh, can sorry, the third electron can easily entering into the. Uh, T2 set, T2 set, now the configuration is E2 under T2 1, the number of unpaid electrons are 3. So then the value is like this, minus 0 0.54 plus 0 0.18, that means uh, 6, 36, that is 36, minus 36, this is the delta O value, this is the delta O value. Now in case of D4, 1, 2, 3, 4, E2, T2, 2. The number of unpaid electrons 4, then the value is 0 0.18 delta O. 0 0.18 delta O. Now in case of delta D5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So E2, T2, 3, here number of unpaid electrons are 5, the value is 0. So 54 minus 54 is 0. Now in case of D6 configuration, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means E3 as well as T2, 3. E3, T2, 3. Now here number of unpaid electrons only 4. Number of unpaid electrons only 4. E3 means 27, 3 is a plus 
now we will get only minus 27 delta o minus 27 delta o now here b7 case 1 2 3 4 5 6 7th electron e4 t2 3 then number of unpaid electrons are 3 then value is minus 0 0.54 now d8 configuration is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means E4, T2, G4. Sorry, T2, 4. The number of unpaid electrons are 2. The value is minus 0 0.36 delta O. Minus 0 0.36 delta O. D9 configuration. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means E4, T2, G5. T2, 5. That means number of unpaid electrons 1. Value is 0 0.18 delta O. Now D10 configuration, everything should be completely filled. So E4, T2, 6. That means 0 unpaid electrons. The value is 0. The value is 0. This is the trend which we observed in the tetrahedral complexes, crystal field stabilization energy. Crystal field stabilization energy. Now, thank you for watching.